What's poppin' homies, this is your boy Frank Nitty, back in the building, back in the sneaker room, back bringing you guys a random video. Today's Friday night, and I just wanna let you guys know how successful this sub uh, pickup was. As y'all know, a couple days ago, I just told, actually maybe a week, I told you guys, hey man, but the Nike games go outlet, they got some cheap steals, man, some very low prices. So I offer you guys the opportunity for me to pick up you guys' shoes. You guys hit me up with the PayPal money in my PayPal account. And um, you know, then I charge you the, a fair shipping price along with required signature as we drop. So I decided to do a pickup for the subs as y'all saw that video. I made a video after I visited the Nike Gainesville store. They had a lot of shoes on sale. So I brought the opportunity to you guys. I said, hey, if you see anything in this outlet that you want, hit me up, I will pick it up for you. And a lot of you guys did, and a lot of you guys reached out via um, IG and also email me. I also got a lot of crazy, uh, crazy amount of random emails. Well, I won't say random, but emails, because a lot of people don't have Instagram. Um, I haven't had anyone hit me up on Twitter, which is good, because my instructions was IG and email. Nevertheless, I didn't want on my IG, because you all know I don't post that often on IG, which I'm going to do eventually. But just the quickest way of communicating, quickest way of me texting, because I can't give everybody my number, because that will get crazy. Um, maybe I might just get like a Google Voice number, man. Just have that on the hip. So if you guys want to hit me up via that, and we can chat back and forth, send pictures, text, what have you. That would be something ideal, man. Very more. It's probably more engagement if I could do that. Anyway, it was a success. Uh, a lot of people asked me to pick up shoes. I did. I cop random shoes, shoes that people asked for, shoes that people didn't ask for. And then the floodgates opened. I had crazy amount of people requesting these shoes and I was able to secure a lot of you guys' shoes and some people who never replied back, obviously their shoes was forfeit to the next person in line. And out of that whole bunch, maybe 15, possibly 20 pairs of shoes, <sighs> this is all I have left. Two pairs of shoes of the Air Jordan 1 Fly Knit Harvest. These are both size eight, and I was able to cop these way below retail. Y'all see the video. So if any of you guys wear a size eight, I have two left in my possession. Definitely hit me up on IG. This is all I have. This is all that was left. And we all know friends and family is amongst us right now. So you probably could find this in your nearest outlet for you know a lot cheaper than what I can offer these shoes. But nevertheless, man, if you don't have these shoes in your area and you want them, um, it's gonna be I guess if you're in a continental United States, it's gonna be $60, $65 shipping. That's it, 60 or $65, depending how far out west you live, or maybe if you live on the East Coast, it'd be a lot cheaper. But this is all I have left. So, I really can't complain, man. It was success. I thought it was gonna be crazy mayhem. I thought a lot of people were gonna flake. A lot of people didn't, um, how can I say? A lot of people didn't curse. How can I say that? A lot of people didn't act. So, so the people who actually wanted the shoe actually got it. Uh, for those who said they wanted the shoe and hit me up, and then later on they never replied or sent me the funds. No harm, no file. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't the best communicator because I had tons of people hit me up. And I got tons of people who hit me up after the fact. Even I make that one video that I'm not doing any more uh, pickups, people still constantly hitting me up via email. Actually, I got a slew of different IG responses that I have not hit people back let them know, hey, this wasn't random stores, this wasn't every shoe, this was just this location for this short period of time, and now that time has passed. So it is over, no more shoes other than the two shoes I show you guys, that's it. A lot of people actually like the video I shot the other day where I showed myself on the computer. Saw that video, go and check it out. Where it's kind of meta, it was me on the computer screen. In that video, on that computer screen, I was also recording this video that I was, it was crazy, you have to go back and see, I don't know how to describe it. Pretty much, computer like this, imagine me on the back end doing an unboxing, and then also on that computer of me doing unboxing there's another computer screen of the actual video that i'm shooting um yeah that wasn't that hard uh homie helped me out uh, shout out to in the rotation dose appreciate you man he's always my go-to my final cut support when i need some questions answered he's the go-to guy man man don't have to be in front of his computer top of the dome we'd be like i right, do this do this do that 
and voila, magic happens, man. So salute to him, big shot to him. Um, I did a lot of skits early on this year. Y'all remember Ballin? Y'all probably see him now. So Ballin was my alter ego. It's who I started a channel with. Then I uh, emerged into what I call Frank Nitty. That's who I am. And Ballin is dying off. But I'm being more creative now. So I might bring him back and do a lot more creative stunts. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more creativity on this channel. I know it's about sneakers. But I can also entertain you guys with sneakers. With sneakers. With sneakers. The only thing is, because the task sometimes, when you, when you think about doing something, it sounds hard yes but then you're like i'm gonna do it and then you start putting it together and then the process of actually doing it and thinking it through takes the longest part so you may have a vision and you may already know how to act it out but when you actually on set or if you actually about to make that video happen now your brain start thinking you're thinking about what i need to do before do during and what i need to do after so those are very key elements when making the video because you got to do as flawless as you possibly can. It's hard to have a good speaking voice. Make sense while you speak at the same time entertaining people with the content you're putting out there. So sometimes I just get that creative bug and I just want to do stuff just like this. This was a late night post me uh, recording, thinking this through, and now I'm about to go and edit this afterwards. So I just want to update you guys on the Nike outlet. That was a success. Sold out everything that I purchased that I bought for the subscribers. Um, also, how I did this video, a lot of people been asking, yo, that was dope, that was dope, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? I, it was light, it was light, it was, I can definitely go ham. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I'm trying to think if I need to update you guys on anything else. Uh, stay tuned, I have another video. Doing the, the next video you may see is a video with my son interacting with him, uh, with his sneakers and my sneakers. I actually do a uh, men size versus youth size and we're gonna do a, a comparison and contrast video with my son that's gonna be fun i haven't edited that video i shot it and i already know just looking at what i had to do when i was making that video Yo, know, kids are very fidgety they don't stay still uh what else man um i was able to see those uh jordan threes uh or white joints. I initially thought I was gonna cop them. Saw them in person, didn't get no video, did not do a early first look like I normally would do. I wanted them, but now some will pass. There's a lot of heat. I just purchased a few shoes. They should be coming in here next week. Definitely gonna review those for you guys, man. This is it, man. Just me rambling late night, just trying to get my thoughts out on camera. I'm about to go and edit this. It's probably more of the idea I had to create this video that I'm currently doing so you can see it and I'll put it out there, man. But anyways, man, I'm gonna let Ballin take it from here, man. He's gonna do my outro for me, man. Yo, Ballin. Ballin. Wake up, man. Bro, you all right? You all right? Wake yeah, up. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. That's what's up, man. I'm gonna need you to do my outro for me. You want me to do your outro? That's what I said, bro. All right, yo. Yo, if this guy didn't bore you to death, man, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That's not what I say. Wake up, bro. I'm up. <clears throat> Thank you. If that guy didn't bore you to death, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well. And don't forget to always hit the always get a notification when he drop a video like this one. And if you... <laughs> I don't and think it's funny. else, man, keep leaving your comments. You already know his slogan. Good to go. I don't think he was funny at all. What? Anyways, good to go. This is why he won't be on the channel, man.